is a call to arms. Cast off your current self and be more. MFT 28, man. Here's our shoulder workout, our morning mass workout for our shoulders, called the shoulder shred. Building the mass of the shoulder, hitting all the shaping exercises, really cutting it up, and then building the endurance of the muscle with limited oxygen, forcing it to perform without oxygen. You're gonna get everything, man. Three prong attack here, but you must believe you can win this war. One person with the belief that they can do something overrides a thousand people with just simple intent. Prepare yourself, stretch out, break a sweat, and then we get it on. Shoulder shred, MFT 28 style. This workout begins now. Shoulder shred, guys, is gonna hit the entire shoulder region. The front side rear deltoids, the side laterals, building the mass, the cut factor, and then also the endurance. First exercise in our shoulder shred, guys. What am I doing right now? I'm setting myself up for success. We're gonna do handstand push-ups to front military Smith machine bar displacements. First thing, handstand push-ups. About a foot and a half our hands are gonna be. Throw our foot up. One foot is gonna be on the fixed surface. The other one's gonna stay straight. The foot that's on there is our guide measure. It's a rudder, basically, of a boat to control our form and everything else. And you go to failure, man, and write down your numbers. See where you are today. I guarantee you'll beat it soon enough. All right, so about a foot and a half out, throw our hands down, throw our foot up, hopefully you catch it. From here, guys, you're gonna come down. I'm looking down at the ground. My nose touch, and then back up. And you're just kind of going to failure here. This is why I love starting off with body weight exercises, because I record how many reps I do. So therefore, I know where I've been to know where I am, so I can see progression. Super sets are like this, two exercises. You do a set and then immediately another one. So as soon as I finish, I'm ready to go again. I'm not wasting time loading weight or anything else. I'm already set for success. Bar displacement, military press. Bar displacement is that I'm gonna be here, my hands are gonna be kind of neutral, where I come down to a 90 degree separation from my upper arm to my lower arm. As I do a press, I'm gonna bring my hands in, and then in, and then in, and then come back out. So I'm gonna go out to in, out to in for my set. That's bar displacement, hitting the outside head to the inside head. Once we finish a superset, I'm gonna come right in here in between set one and two, and between set two and three to do an endurance burn. We're gonna be 30 seconds of here rope pulls. Either 30 count or 30 seconds. The 30 count will be one, two. So both arms move for a count of one. It's either 30 of that, or you're doing 30 seconds. Do you have a stopwatch? Go, when the thing expires, you're done. Then 90 seconds rest before you go into the next exercise. If you don't have the rope, grab two dumbbells. You know, 10, 15, 20 pounds. Same kind of theory. You're gonna bring them up and then down like this. And do the same thing as ropes, but now with dumbbells. 90 second break. Go right back into set two, guys. When you're working this hard and you're pushing yourself from a, you know, a muscle build to an endurance too, you know, mentally, you're really erasing limitations in your life. Your imagination starts to grow in a belief of what can be. Your belief is your strongest tool in the gym. Mentally, if you believe you can do it, your body physically will find a way to make it happen.
Exercise two, guys. This is a three-parter, man. Everything right here is on the squat rack. We're gonna be doing Bradford presses to upright rows to kettlebell pirate chips. Let me talk about each one real fast. Bradford presses, you're gonna grab a straight bar. Grip placement's imperative here, guys. If you're too close in, you're working too much triceps and chest. If you're too far out, you're not working your shoulders enough. There's a fine balance. What is that fine balance? If you bring your upper arm so it's parallel to the ground, this should form a 90 degree angle when you grab the bar. That is your grip placement. So when you come, when you come down, it should be 90 degrees right there. That is your grip placement. Bradford presses are a front military press to a rear mil military press. So you go from here, front to back, front to back. Now notice I'm not doing full extension. I keep taxation and stress on the muscle region of the shoulders the entire time. So I'm just bringing the bar up enough to clear my head. As I clear my head, my shoulders roll back and it comes back down. Then back up, rolls forward, it comes back down. So it's just this you know, jumping over and top of my head. And be careful, don't be an idiot and hit yourself in the head. Make sure you cleared enough and you come back down. You're going front to back to front for one rep. I don't know how many you're gonna do, but you want the weight to be somewhere in the ballpark of, you know, that 10 to 12 range when you're gonna hit failure on this first set. As soon as we finish that, that's the first part of this tri set. The bar comes down, we're gonna grab our hand placement about shoulder width, a little inside shoulder width, and we're doing upright rows. Upright rows are gonna build the traps and the outer shoulder head. When we do it, we bring her up, our elbows always stay higher than our wrist. So if we're right here bringing it up, right? It's not here, it's here. So elbows are always higher than your wrist. We'll bring it up to our chin and then back down. The closer you are, the more it works closer to your traps. The further your hand placement comes out, it starts working down your traps into your shoulders. What about a neutral grip? A little bit inside shoulder width. The slower you go, the more you get out of it. Right, the bar. Third part is gonna be kettlebell pirate ships. Pirate ships, you know, the state fair, you guys go to that pirate ship that goes up and it pauses, you get that stomach lift and it comes back down. Person in front of you pukes, so it hits you in the face, it comes back down. Yeah, been there, done it, it sucks. Same kind of theory, this is our pirate ship. We're the machine. We're gonna bring it up, pause it right there. Back up, pause it. So when we pause it, we're working a lot of isometric there. Concentrate to get it up there, a lot of core foundation. As we get up there, boom, our shoulders are locking, holding it, we bring it back down, boom. It's not momentum, you guys, you're controlling it throughout the range of the motion. There we go. Coming up, hold it. To the top. A little pregnant pause there, man. It's not about just the rep. It's about what you get out of the rep. set right there is anything but normal. We do that, we put ourselves through that because we don't want a normal life. Number three guys, number three on the shoulder shred, barbell levers. You're gonna put the uh, one in the barbell in a fixed corner of some sort. 
The other one's gonna come up. But lift this bar up and we're gonna go right side. Just individual presses. Kind of on like a little bit of a 30 degree angle. Whole body isometrically holding that form. Working on the last second, 32 muscle groups isometrically to hold our form. We're gonna sit here. This arm's gonna be kind of fisted. And we're gonna press like we're kind of like punching the air with the bar. So like this right side and then we'll throw it. Catch it to the other side. Hit the other side. Boom. Boom. And then once we finish that, then we'll grab it both together and do forward presses right here. Working the inner part of our chest and also our shoulders. Uh, not done yet. Now we got our 180s. Or spell casters. Come on. Bring it down to the side right here. Then rock it right and left. Here we go. All these sets, guys, are fundamental working the muscle groups, but in a very fun way, very imaginative way. When you're in the gym doing this stuff, people are gonna stop doing what they're doing, take notes of what you're doing. They're like, dude, I wanna get on the path, that guy's gonna I'm gonna talk to you real fast about the reps. And this theory on my rep count every set, it, it runs parallel to every exercise I do. When I say I don't say goodbye until pain says hello, that is your rep count. If you put the weight on there, that's estimated where you're gonna fail somewhere in that like eight to 12 range because this is a mass builder. So we don't wanna be going like 15, 20, 30 reps. We wanna be kind of no more than 12. We want more than eight though. Somewhere in that zone right there is really good. But the rep count, like if, if we put on the weight there guys and we're at eight right now and that was our target but we're still feeling we can do more, we don't stop because the number says eight. We go until we feel that pain, that burn, that's the glue of transformation. So it's really about when that burn comes alive. It's very key and when we're doing these sets, they're very long in duration, that you don't get fixated on the pain. If you're feeling the pain, it's because you're focusing on it. Don't focus on it. Now, I go right into the 180s right now, but I'll show you another variation here, guys. Is that instead of this one on all one side, like 10 reps, 10 reps, and 10 reps, for a 30 rep count, we're gonna do three variations of it. We're gonna go right side or left side. I'll show you. This is where that uh, athletic uh, power performance kind of comes in. So we go right, left, right, left, because it looks like this. and the shoulder shred, man. The first three exercises have been really about building the, the majority, the bigger heads of the muscle, the mass builders, right? Now we're gonna start to segue into more of the shapers. And when, now the differential between this is that the shapers are a little bit lighter weight and higher reps. Where the mass exercises, you're kind of dealing with like that 12 to eight kind of range. When the shapers, and a lot like when you're doing the evening workouts, higher reps, not quite as high as the cardio ones where you're like 25, 30, kind of around like 15 reps right now. That's where that burn factor, that pain should say hello to you. It's a three part superset again, guys. First thing we're gonna do is a dumbbell raise. We sit here, nice wide stance, grabbing the dumbbell right here. We're gonna come straight up, front raise on our shoulder, working the front part of our deltoids. Finish that, grab our plate, man, car drivers. Right on the edge here. Big old fat steering wheel, bring it up. Start driving on down the street. That's more of a time trial. It's not how many reps, it's about 30 seconds you're having that thing held, you know, and isometrically as you're rotating it right and left. I'll be honest guys, that was a little heavy for me, man. As soon as we finish that, we're gonna do reverse rear flies. We're gonna go reverse style here. Right side grabbing the left, left side grabbing the right. You guys might be like, man, what's up with all these damn supersets? That's the MFT guys. 
it's not the mass builder, it's military focus trainer. What is military focus trainer? Not just having a muscle that's strong, but also endurance that can get to the fight and still win the fight. You have to be ready for everything, guys. I mean, you're coming out of here, your muscles don't know what the hell is going on. But we're gonna grow exactly according to the plan of what you wanna see in the mirror later, guys. Let's get it on, here we go. Workout. A little bit of a gut check, guys. What these are is like an inclined bench from about a 30 degree angle. We're gonna lay on here, grab our easy curl bar or a straight bar, whichever one you guys want, your prerogative. We'll come straight up to eye level, right? Come back down. These are just gonna be straight raises. You know, we're gonna do about 15 reps, is what our goal is here. Once we finish it, we're gonna bring it back into our chest right here. And it's called anti gravity presses. We're going against gravity, pressing it out, and coming back in for another 10, 15. That's all we got. Get a good night's sleep, man. You've earned it. Coming up. Back down. Now guys, last one. We're gonna bring it up here for the anti-gravity press. Bring it up, press it out. Burns. Burns mighty good, mighty good guys. Again, this is the mass blow guys, so stay with me man. Almost there, almost there. That's a good hurt. At the end of the day, winning isn't everything. But having the will to win, training to win, that is everything, my friend. That's our last set, man. That's MFT 28 shoulder shred. That's your morning shoulder mass workout, guys. If you're still here, man, it really says a lot about who you are. And it also says a lot about where you want to go to. Now you know what your morning mass shoulder workout is. This evening, you're gonna do the same workout, same blueprint, but totally different. Look down at the page below. We'll show you how it's different. Your, your reps are different. Your duration of intervals of rest periods different. Your weight's different. Everything's gonna change. Fundamentally the same, totally different on the body and how your body responds to it. Oh, and oh, by the way, we also have an entire ab workout this evening we're gonna to do too. Be sure to check out the page below. Go to bodybuilding.com, download the entire program here, guys. It's not about just getting a little bit of this, get a little bit of that. If you're gonna go to war, you grab all your weaponry, your entire arsenal. Bodybuilding.com, MFT28, shows you the recipe of success, so you miss nothing. To learn more about me and my crazy ways and all my workouts, go to gregplit.com. This is MFT28, shoulder version. Be more.